Where you are standing, can you sing for yourself? Can you sing personally without Gideon, without the, the, the backing, and without any musical instrument? Can you say, Lord, I surrender all? Somebody wants to walk with God, but how can you walk with God when you cannot surrender to God? How can you walk with God when you cannot trust God? How can you walk with God when you cannot regard God? How can you walk with God when you don't care what God thinks? Who wants to walk with God? Who wants to walk with God? And we are excited to see how we read about Enoch walking with God and Noah walked with God and, 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 and Moses walked with God and yet why you are standing who wants to walk with God who wants to walk with God sometimes the music steal the show but who wants to walk with God this afternoon It's a new day. It's a new day, somebody. I speak in the name of Jesus that a desire to walk with God will begin to stir up deep in your heart. In the name of Jesus, it's a new day. It's a new day. It's a day where the people of God want to walk with God and they are not waiting for the pastor to walk with God and tell them what God is saying. It's a new day. A day where everyone in the church of God wants to walk with God. Come on, somebody. Father, we thank you. Help us. Father, may the purpose of your word this afternoon be accomplished. I am John Faisal Shai, a mortal flesh created in your image. But I stand before you and under your authority, O oh God, desiring that you will increase, that I will decrease. Desiring that none of us would live here 
still looking for someone to be the solution, but understanding that we carry the solution. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. No, you don't understand. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you put your hands the way you are putting your hands together, it is okay to do it. When you come here on a Friday and everybody is wearing black and they are singing some dirges and some things like that, but when you are here on a Sunday morning or afternoon like this, where you understand that it is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of God. And you understand uh, that so long as you are alive, uh, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And you understand uh, that your Redeemer lives. Uh, and you know that you know uh, that no matter what you go through, uh, God will always make a way where there seems to be no way. You cannot afford to clap your hands like somebody just died. I came to speak to somebody. You need to understand sometimes in the clapping of your hands certain things are broken. Certain chains are broken. The devil gets to understand that he might not have won. The devil gets to understand he thought he won but by the grace of God you are unstoppable. He thought he won but by the grace of God you are unbreakable. I I came to announce to somebody uh, yeah. that it doesn't matter what you are going through. Uh, yeah. Our God uh, yeah. is able uh, yeah. to do exceedingly, yeah. abundantly. Yeah. I came to announce to somebody uh, yeah. that when you come to church, uh, yeah. it's not about the pastor. Yeah. It's not about the preacher. Yeah. It's about God yeah. Almighty. Yeah. When you come to church, yeah. it's not about where you work. Yeah. It's not about who you are yeah. or the family background you have. Yeah. It's about Jesus. Yeah. I came to announce uh, yeah. I don't care yeah. what your situation is uh, yeah. but I care yeah. about the one uh, yeah. who is able uh, yeah. to do exceedingly abundantly yeah. I care yeah. about Jehovah yeah. why do I care about Jehovah yeah. because I work with him uh, yeah. because I am learning uh, yeah. to work with Jehovah yeah. and I understand uh, yeah. that they that trust the Lord uh, yeah. shall be uh, yeah. like Mount Zion uh, yeah. I understand uh, yeah. that the Lord yeah. It's my light yeah. and my salvation. Yeah. I understand yeah. when the enemy comes yeah. against me yeah. in a form of a Christ, a, a flood, yeah. my Lord will lift the standard. Yeah. I understand yeah. that the fact that I am down yeah. doesn't mean I have lost yeah. because I know yeah. my Redeemer lives. Yeah. I know yeah. the battle yeah. was won yeah. over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. I know yeah. that when he said it is finished. Uh, he was referring uh, to the conditions uh, that I find myself in right now. When he said it is finished, uh, he meant uh, that the fornication uh, has no power over my life. Uh, he meant uh, that the failures uh, cannot break me. Uh, he meant uh, that I am an overcomer. He meant uh, that I am uh, what he says I am. Uh, I know uh, what I am saying uh, because the other day uh, the apostle Paul said uh, that I am nobody uh, but by the grace of God uh, I am what I am uh, my name uh, is Chanel Vizal Shaibu uh, but I know uh, what I carry uh, is uh, bigger than my name uh, I know uh, there is somebody in this room uh, that carries an anointing uh, that is greater uh, than you know uh, you carry an anointing uh, that is greater uh, than the one you know uh, because Bible makes me know uh, that he that is in me uh, is greater uh, than he that is in the world. Uh, I understand uh, and I am persuaded. Uh, weeping may endure, uh, but I am coming out. Uh, I am coming out. Uh, I don't care the challenges. Uh, my God is able. Uh, I know my God. Uh, my God uh, shall supply all my needs. Uh, my God says, uh, my soul.
son, if you can walk with me, when they think there is a flood here, I will make a way in the middle of the flood. I know the God that I serve is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he made a way for the Israelites in the Red Sea, I am persuaded my God will make a way for me. When the need arises, I understand one thing, that my God is the one who made water come out of the rock. My God made a way in the wilderness. He will make a way for me. The other day, the songwriter also agreed and said, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. I am a catabranda. When I come to church and I begin to speak in tongues and praise my God, it's not because my family is the wealthiest. It is not because I don't have challenges. It is not because everything is perfect. But I understand that the one I have chosen to trust, the one I have chosen to believe, I am a catabranda. Ikoto shaka branda ha, repeke ribo shaka branda ba, ata pa iko robo sha, apa pa riba kaba. Sometimes when I am praising in church, I am going through hard times, but I understand something that my God is able, and I understand sometimes in the midst of my storm and my difficulty, if I can lift the praise, the devil will be wondering what is happening. Is that not fair? that I caused to pay that bribe is that not Faisal who fornicated yesterday how come he's still praising me how come he's still praising God sometimes in church when the devil is accusing me of the sins of yesterday I decide to praise God to let the devil understand I don't care the accusations leveled against me I don't care what the law says I deserve because of my sins. I hear the voice of grace. I hear the voice of grace. I hear the voice of grace. Say you are qualified. Even though the law says you don't deserve, you shall have it. The devil is a liar. Come on, somebody. If you believe, you find yourself at any place uh, that I have just described uh, concerning my personal life. Uh, come on, stand to your feet. Uh, give God your loudest shout of praise. Uh, and put your hands together. Let the devil understand. How many of you want to make a confession to honor God and to spite the devil? See, there is a song you know that says that Memma wa comment to. But see, this afternoon you will personalize it and let the devil understand. It doesn't matter where I am. Me mama come to two. If it's a mission, not to Nasi. Hey! 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 Come on, somebody. 
Jesus Basi. Gideon, don't say what, say me. Sami Shabbat. Thank you. Can you sing it to yourself? We don't have time, so we might not sing it for long. We won't sing it for long, please. Jesus
Jesus. 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 Jesus.
sure we can do this. Amen. Amen. Five minutes. So I'm going to be very quick. You heard the story. But how many of you know the focus of the story was on Enoch. You know that, right? Now, sometimes when I read the word of God, do you know what I try to do? I ask myself one simple question. Faisal, what do you see? And this afternoon, I want to ask you, when the scripture was read, or when you were going through your Bible, what did you see? What did you see? I want to show you a few things I saw. son bringing honor Charlie I see a son bringing honor to his father do you see that as well oh no you see Bible mentioned Jared right and what did Bible say about Jared that Jared begat Enoch in other words if Jared wasn't the father of Enoch maybe his name wouldn't have showed up in the Bible so you see Enoch's life he lived an honorable life so much that he brought honor to his father please nobody needs an answer but are you living a life honorable enough and I also see a, a, an honorable man leaving a lasting legacy see the legacy Enoch led, left behind was the fact that he walked with God he was so faithful that Bible could not help but record I see that it is possible and this is to those of us who say that we are human no? there are some things we cannot do I see that it is possible for God and man to be in a relationship with both parties successfully playing their role stop telling me as for me I am a human being It is canal people who talk like that. Oh, if I knew cry, I shouldn't have made Gideon come up stay here. Gideon is taking my time. Oh, goodness. Charlie, my guy. Oh, my guy, my guy, my guy. Pastor, pastor, no No co Put your hands together for Pastor Felix. Hey, pastor. Now, but pressure hear me. What? When I see what is in front of me and the time. Sis, 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 so give sis to fans. So, uh, he's, he's, he's pastor assistant. <laughs> see, when, when you, you praise the Nigerians, they give you more grace. Or so for, hey, Pastor Felix. Hey, sis, so. No, but on a serious note, I also see God breaking natural laws a man is supposed to die to see God is that not what we know but a man was faithful in working with God so much that God said ah when I look at this one and I see how he is faithful in dealing with me I cannot wait for the time when he will die because when I want him to live I am going to make him live long and as a result of that I have got to break the natural law and take him away the 
this week, this week, this week, will God break some natural laws for somebody? I am asking you, I'm not prophesying. This, this generation here, let me resort it I am not prophesying. I am asking, will God break natural law for your sake? Yo. I see a man whose love for God set him apart. Are you set apart enough? Or on Friday we can find you at the nightclub. Don't tell me he went there to do evangelism. Sister. No, I said, Minister, who we are catch him, he said, Paul said when I was with there, whatever I did, whatever. You did whatever. Paul never said when he met thieves, he, he joined them to steal so he can preach. See, if you want to work with God and you don't know God, you can't work with Him. I see a man who knew his God, a man who knew that my God shall supply. A man who knew that my God is able to do all things. A man who knew that my God created all things by the word of his mouth. Hey, how many of you saw that article where the Pope said he agrees with uh, 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 that series, what do they call it? Where the monkeys become human beings. Yes, but there is a certain name. There is that oh mukra mumbam yet. Series now motion. But a muni man yeshi. But evolution, but where do you But you see, the Pope said that he agrees with them to an extent. The current Pope. Because the only way God could have done all the things he did according to the way Genesis says it is if God had a magic wand. That is an insult to my God. That is an insult to my God. I cannot afford to listen to somebody like this. Oh, you, you think I'm lying? Go and Google it. Go and Google it. Enoch knew that his God created all things by the word of his mouth. See, I'm going to skip everything and, and go here so that we finish. The word walk that was used in the scripture we read is the same word that was used in reference to Noah. Bible says that Noah and Noah walked with God. When you look for the Hebrew word, it is halak. Halak. And it is the same word in reference to Noah. You see, so Enoch walked with God so that God took Enoch away. In the same, it is the same kind of walking that Noah did. It is the same kind of walking that Noah did. To walk with God also means understanding that the road will not be smooth. Ah, let me say it. To walk with God also means understanding that the road will not be smooth. But the journey will be successful. Listen. The road will not be smooth. There will be potholes all over. But I know one thing. That as far as I am working with the living God. I will succeed in the end. The fact that the road is not smooth. Doesn't mean you have failed or you fail. Working with God means dying to the flesh. And leading to the spirit. God is spirit. And, only, and it only takes a spiritual man to work with him. See, working with God simply means living in the spirit. Why? Because the Bible says that God is spirit. So if you want to work with God, you must be in the spirit to be able to work with God. And it doesn't mean that become, spirit, be, become a spirit so that you vanish. No. It simply means hearing and following the word of God. 
And when you mature enough, you know what happens? You are walking and you begin to hear. Eh? Like, like you'll be standing here. It's a certain level of maturity that will cause Kafui or Folikwe or Prophet El Bernard to say that I see an angel standing there and I see this, this, this happening in your house. It is a certain level of working with God. And as for you, all you want is waiting for Haman must die so that somebody will come and tell you what God is saying in the realms of the spirit. When are you going to grow? When you work with God, impossible situations become very possible. Like a man just disappearing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Working with God makes you manifest the nature of God. My goodness, can I help you with this one? See, is it not the same apostles who said that Jesus referred to as faithless generation because they couldn't do anything? Hey, apostles. Now, in Luke chapter 9, verse 53 to 54, there is no time, so we'll not read. When Jesus was rejected in the Samaritan town, what did Jesus do? What did the apostles do? They said, James and John said, Master, should we call fire? Should we call fire? The guys who started working with Jesus and had no power, and Jesus referred to as a faithless generation, now have matured, and they're asking, should we call fire? Can I let you understand that if you decide to keep working with God, it might not take a day or a year, but as you keep working with God, you will begin to have the nature of God. You will begin to talk like God. So when everybody says, hey, where you have Surah Kano, Mumbi Fanoko Hospital, you say that is there no God we serve? And everybody else around will say, we are too known. Who do you say, who I saw one across here in Fanonko. Our software will be judged on its own scale. And you are sorry, but you will be judged on your own scale. Don't let the faith of the pastor limit your faith. But don't forget also the pastor has training you don't have. One year of CLI, no be joke. I'm not a pastor though. Please, do me a favor. Put your hands together for Auntie Doris for me. No, you, you don't know. You don't know. Auntie Doris never calls me. And I, it's, it's, it's okay, right? So one day, on Thursday, 7 a.m., I got a call, Auntie Doris. Honestly, I was still asleep. I looked at the phone. I put it down. And then I picked it again. I said, oh, Auntie Doris, you need to come up. So it will be quick. We spoke for almost 30 minutes. The long and short of the conversation was that Pfizer, you have to go for CLI. And then on Sunday, she saw me. She said, this is the minutes of our first meeting. Get it and go and read. By the time I go out, the husband met me and said, Osofo, please, I want to talk to you. Please, CLI. And see, when I look back, Osofo, Auntie Doris, God bless you. Because if I hadn't done the CLI, because right now I know there is a need for it. And I was going to do right now. Hey, I best see me rough. So please, God bless you, Auntie Doris. Let, let's, let's finish. And um, what I can do is that anybody who thinks that maybe I have something here that will be of value to him or her, um, it's up there. You can get it later. The last thing I want to say is that when you work with God, you gain access to the realms of the Spirit. This is possible because you get, to, you get to a point in your work with God where you no longer deal with fleshy issues. Can I, can I describe to you my, my understanding of who a spiritual person is? Listen, a spiritual person, one, understands that everything that happens in the flesh, first of all, takes less in the spirit. That's a spiritual person. And a spiritual person understands that the best way to deal with my boss not giving me promotion it's not to go and lobby, lobby and polish his shoe and buy him cocoa. No, no, no. The best way is to pray and fast and speak into the realms of the spirit and correct everything that he or she feels is wrong. 
Parce que vous avez l'air, mais l'expédition n'est pas un bébé. Une personne spirituelle comprend. Vous voyez, quand cette sœur gossip sur moi, le problème est spirituel. Une personne spirituelle comprend que avant que le gossip gossip passe, Something was activated in the realms of the spirit that the sister could not control. So a, a spiritual person will not fight you because you gossip. A spiritual person will deal with you in prayer. So when a spiritual person speaks, you know what happens? The kind of people feel that we are too known. I'm telling you. Because they think that you think you are the only one who knows. Very soon, some of us who have done CLI, people used to look at you somewhere, eh? But you know, you have always been somewhere, somehow, doing the things you are doing. But now, when you know, they'll say that, oh, this is a CLI now, why now? At the end, I'm for four years, Pastor Felix, I'm going to go to the house. Oh, God. Who needs a diploma? I'm going to go to the diploma, I'm going to go to the Let me ask you a question because I'm ending. What do you really want? A work with God or a work with men? Working with God is spiritual living and working with men is fleshy. Keep this in mind as you make your decision. The physical is controlled by the spiritual. Do you want to control or be controlled? Working with God simply means you have the opportunity to control what happens. Choosing to let Pastor Felix work with God and come and tell you what God means. God is saying means choosing to give your destiny to Pastor Felix to control. So what do you want this afternoon? Please just bow your head. Are you working with God? Or you are working with men? Still in the mood of prayer, you have heard the word. It says, Working with God is not entangling yourself with the things of the flesh. But today, the question is, Are you working with God or are you working with men? Men will take you to a point, but that may lead you to distraction. But when you work with God, it gets to the point that you become no more, it means you have been absorbed into the things of the spirit. And today you are here, you want to take that opportunity. You want to begin that work with God. You want to give Him your life. You want to give God the chance to be in charge over your life. It begins with deciding that, God, I want you to be the head over my life. If you are here like that, I want you to be on your feet. You want to be on your feet to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You can walk with men, but that will lead you nowhere. But when you give your life to Christ, He will lead you to the place where you are supposed to be. You want to be on your feet right now. And if you are here like that, you want to begin your walk with God today. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. He says, just come as you are. He doesn't need you to go and cleanse yourself before you come. He needs you to give your heart to Him, to open up your heart and say that, God, I am giving my life into your hands. I want to begin my work with you. I want, to, I, want, I want you to be the head over my life. We are waiting for you.
still waiting for you. Or maybe you are here, you, you're a believer, you've been working with God, but it, it's gotten to a point where it's, it's like you're staggering. When you look at your relationship with God, it is nothing to write home about. You can still start, you can still give, you can still commit your life to Him once again. Our counselors are here. They will help you. You want to give God an opportunity to take control of that, that relationship. It hasn't been perfect. One minute you are with Him, the next minute you find yourself in the club. And so you want to come to God once again and say that, God, I want to start afresh. I am giving you the sheet of paper to write everything afresh in my life. We are waiting for you. Some are coming. What about you? we thank you this afternoon for your word we thank you God for the opportunity to work with you we thank you God that as we have heard your word it shall be a source of encouragement for us that indeed there is a place that we must go and we cannot get there except that we work with you we thank you God for the minister we thank you God for using him as a, a vessel to be a blessing unto us we pray that may you fill him with strength and with grace and may you lift him up oh God even to higher heights in Jesus name we pray with thanksgiving Amen. Well, let's give God a clap as, as our counselors take them to the Thank you. Praise the Lord. Let's stand together. Let's stand together. Bible study teachers, you are meeting after service. So take notes. Can we, can we do the Offering before we close. Let's just do it. As many as you can just walk forward and drop something. You want to help that kidney transplant person. Just one basket. Yeah. You want to help him. You want to help in, the 40, in paying the $45,000 to do the transplant for that university guy still lying in the hospital from Akutulante. Just walk forward wherever you are. You want to be a blessing. Just walk forward. And just drop something in the basket so that we can use to support him. No matter how small, no matter how big, do it for him. We've prayed. We need to also act. that this week will be good for him or her. He or she will walk with God. He or she will not be controlled, but he or she will receive power to control this week and even beyond in Jesus' name. Let's lift up our voice and begin to pray for him. Begin to pray for the person's hand you are holding. Begin to declare the favor of God for this week, the fruitfulness of God, the miracle of God for this week in the mighty name of Jesus, the miracle of God. Pray for him. Ask for God that he will take dominion even this week. The power of God will rest upon him. The favor of God will rest upon her. Every step she will take this week, every step he will take this week, let it be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power of God go ahead of him. The miracle of God go ahead of him in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Those who need job this week, they should receive the job. Those who need breakthrough, what, what kind of breakthrough, whatever breakthrough they need, in the mighty name of Jesus, grace to, 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 to control from the spiritual realm into the physical realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they will step, wherever they will step, even this week, the person to take dominion, the power of God should be with him in the name of Jesus or her. The favor of God never to depart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ from her. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus for what, O Lord Jehovah God, you are about to do for us in the name of Jesus. We come against accident, we come against disaster, we come against robbery, we come against fire, we come against death, we come against sickness. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against manipulation. Every spirit of rape, anybody who is tagging anybody to rape the person, we take authority in the name of Jesus. Every in the name of Jesus, God. And for anybody, we take authority in the name of Jesus. We soak ourselves in the blood. We cover ourselves in the blood. We declare the covering of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Everybody, and we declare that no weapon crushing against us. In the mighty name of Jesus, may there be the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I, I, before we close, you came to church and you are sick. You came to church sick. Just walk into the aisle. Don't come forward. Just step into the middle. You came to church and you feel sick or you are sick before you came to church. Just walk to the middle and just stand there. Just walk to the middle and just stand there. Just walk to the middle and just stand there. Whatever you are feeling, just step into the hour. And I will all lift up prayer that the blood of Jesus will speak for them. The healing of God will be their portion. Just turn towards them to the hour. Let's just all turn towards them. Just turn a strip of your hands towards them. They will not walk out of this auditorium still sick. They will not walk out of this auditorium still carrying whatever.